Over by the garage, I suppose. Yep. Sorry about this, Rex. I don't think we'd be doing any gardening today. I'm afraid I've rather wasted your time. Don't worry, miss. It doesn't matter. Look, why don't you come inside for a drink of something while I make a phone call? <sighs> Stupid thing seized up on the roundabout. I think it's had it this time. Jeff from the garage thinks it'll cost too much to be worth fixing again. He's going to tell me when he's had a look. It might be that bad, miss. Oh, no. I know a dead car when I see one. Why do these things always happen at the worst possible moment? I was meant to be going to friends this evening. <sighs> Better tell them I'm not coming. I'm sorry, miss. Yes, it is a bit sad. Today of all days. Her birthday, today? Yes, and she's spending it all on her own. She's going out for a special evening with her friends miles out in the country somewhere, but she can't now. Her car's busted. That's terrible. I was there when the mechanic told her. I've never seen her like that before. She was really miserable. Call Mrs Jessup. I thought perhaps we could buy her a card or a present or something. You know, cheer up a bit. Sure. Do you have any money? Not really. I was thinking perhaps she might be able to pay me back for the other day. Ah, um, better get some then. Uh... Dad, can I wash the car, please? Looks like a tea towel to me. You reckon? Hmm. Bubble bath for Christmas, tea towel for birthday. It's what they like. A tea towel? Definitely. What if she's already got one? Well, she'll have another one, won't she? She may have lots. Look, my mum has hundreds, but she always says it's exactly what she wanted. <laughs> I was wondering if I could ask you some questions. Oh, me know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, as you probably know, it's our 10th anniversary this week. Is it? Yes. And as part of our 10th birthday fun week, we're giving away lots of fabulous prizes. Right. Don't you want to know what they are? Oh, yes. Well, all our regular competitions are having extra special prizes. You know the mystery voice? Not really. Well, they gave away a trip to New York this morning on the early show. So I was wondering if you'd like to try for a prize. What do we have to do? Would you be interested in entering the true or false quiz? What it's sort of... General knowledge, really. Oh, right. Rex, you're brilliant at general knowledge, aren't you, Rex? <laughs> well, I... You won a competition from the entire school last term. That sounds wonderful. Would you like to enter? Yeah, you can count us in. All the heats of this morning with a grand final live in the two o'clock show. Brilliant. I just have to ask you a couple of questions. What's the capital of Norway? Uh, Oslo. Who wrote Treasure Island? Robert Louis Stevenson. And what's a baby elephant called? Ah. I know this. Dumbo. A calf. I have to go. You have to go? He has to go. Uh, but there's lots of fabulous prizes. I'm sorry. You um, should enter, really. He's very good. He's also very shy. Uh, oh. about that. We were doing so well. Still, it would only distract us. We're buying tea towels. What do you think? <coughs> ah, here's some butterflies. <coughs> I thought he quite liked the one with the puppies. Oh, right. Where are they? Ah. You don't think she'd prefer the map of Nottinghamshire? I mean, she is a teacher. Right. We'll get this then. <laughs> you sure about this? <laughs> he's got very strong opinions, hasn't he? <laughs> I was just worried about him choosing the puppies because he's a dog. Thanks. Excuse me. Sorry? Could you come back here, please? You're our 1,000th customer in the store this month. Really? Right. Hello. Linen department here. We have our first winner. Yes. 
you've just won a complete set of stainless steel saucepans. <laughs> Three stainless steel saucepans with copper bases, heat resistant handles and matching steamer. What a present. Does she like cooking? <coughs> well... Just a birthday card now and I think we can go home. Excuse me, I wonder, can you help me? I'm looking for Wyvern Street. Wyvern Street? Radio Trent FM. Oh, right. No, sorry. Not to worry, thanks. He's taken my bag! That man's stolen my handbag! <laughs> Didn't Rex! <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, sorry, silly question. Did you see him? Has he got a scent, do you think? Oh, yes. He's got a very good nose. Rex? Rex, come here. You meant to be getting a handbag back. But, uh, Would you mind calling him off, please? What's got into you? I'm very sorry. If I let you go, will you promise to stay here? And leave the lady alone? <sighs> they always say never trust a dog.
been after him for some time, but we've never been able to get a positive identification. He's a master of disguise, you see. But now that you've caught him red-handed, well done, I'm very grateful. Well, it was Bob here. I had nothing much to do with it. You trained him, didn't you? Well... I know what it takes. A lot of time and patience. You're a very clever boy. He is quite. He came top in mass last week. <laughs> Oh, I was so worried. I'd just been to the bank. I had the entire staff wages. I cannot thank you enough, Sergeant. Don't thank me, Mrs Huntley. It was this young man and his dog. So you did catch him? Look, if there's anything I can do for you, ever, perhaps your mother might like to come to my dress shop and choose something. Well, uh... Yes, look. Let me just write out a little note for you, just in case I'm not there. Now... You give this to any of my assistants, and they'll look after you. I'm so very grateful. I hear you've caught the phantom bag snatcher. He is in custody, yes. Great. Just wonder if you'd like to give us an interview. Just a bit of background, and then how you close the net in on him. It was the dog. Sorry? He's the one that caught him. What? The dog. We all thought he was chasing the wrong person, but it was the man, dressed up. The disguise didn't fool him because, of course, he was following the scent. Amazing. And he's yours, is he? Yes. Well, well, yes. Yes, definitely. Would you like to come down to the studio? Give us an interview for the news. <coughs> well, it won't take long. <coughs> but you did catch the phantom bag snatcher. OK. I'll trade you a Mars bar. A Mars bar and a Bonnier? <clears throat> a Mars bar, a Bonnier, and my entire collection of Boglins. <coughs> you drive a hard bargain. OK. <laughs> Just look after him for a bit, will you? Catch you in two minutes. <sighs> that was Claire Huntley ringing from the police station to say she's had her bag snatched. She's still very shocked, and she doesn't want to do the true or false quiz. We're on air in ten minutes. You wanted to be in this. Where's your friend? Sorry? I'm afraid he's still gone off, uh, still very shy. I couldn't persuade you to be in this, could I? Me? It's just I'm a contestant short, and you wouldn't do it, would you? I'm sorry. It doesn't matter how you do. You'll get a true or false pen anyway. What? <coughs> what, you think I should go in for it? <coughs> you know I'm no good at general knowledge. You're the one that should be doing it. <coughs> but you're... Oh, oh, I see. You mean you could... <coughs> ah. Do I gather he thinks you should? <coughs> All right, but after the interview. We're on the air in nine minutes. See you in eight. Kind of a dog on my show. What harm can it do? It's silly. In the ten years I've been doing true or false, I've never had a dog on the show. That lady's got a duck. What? There, in front of her. It's a mascot. Everybody's got a mascot. Well, then why can't I have a mascot? I'm not having a dog on my show. Suppose he barks or something. <coughs> Look, he says he won't. I'm not having it. Find somebody else. In 30 seconds. And now, once again, it's time to play True or False with Eddie Edgar! <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome to this 10th anniversary super show brought to you on this very special occasion by Mapley Motors, the people who bring you clever cars at silly prices. <laughs> right. OK, after ten years, we should all know the rules. I ask the questions, you press the buzzers. Green if you think that the statement I've just read out is true. Yellow if you think it's false. Now, could anything be easier than that? <laughs> so, are you ready to play true or false? Yeah! <laughs> uh, you bet your bippy we are. So, 
Let's fire straight ahead with the first question. A frog is a member of the reptile family. And Alan's light is on and his buzzer has gone and he's off to a flying start with five points. Because a frog is an amphibian. <laughs> Good fun, eh? Question number two. A trapezium is a safety net in a circus. <laughs> Aha! That's it, you see. Because a trapezium is a geometric shape with two parallel sides. And Tracy's bang on the button, so give her five points. <laughs> Cork comes from an oak tree. Oh, 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 you've got to be quicker than that, Michael, because Alan was there with time to spare, and he gets another five points. Well done, Alan. Don't worry. It's just a question of getting into my stride. A Norman Tower is square. That's Michael! <laughs> the name of Alexander the Great's horse was Bucephalus. Michael again! A drumlin is a streamlined hillock left by a melting glacier. <laughs> An oyster catcher is a primitive net of East Anglian origin used for harvesting shellfish. Yes, an oyster catcher is a bird. His name is Michael Tolly, and he's our winner. How about that, folks? <laughs> now then, Michael Tolly, tell me, are you going to stop there or are you going to go on to our great birthday bonanza? Well, I'm not really sure. You are going to go forward, aren't you, Michael Tully? Because you're a sport and also because you want to earn that birthday bonanza mega prize. Well, yes. Which means it's time to fasten your safety belts. Hang on to your hats for the... Quick Fire Quiz! <laughs> and that means for you, Michael Tully, that you have ten seconds to answer the following three questions. So get your ears in gear and don't let that finger linger. Ten seconds starting from now. The square root of 64 is nine. A camel has two humps. In the French language, bon anniversaire means happy birthday. He's done it! Michael Tully has done it. The boy with the big brain and the quick action reaction. He's won the great birthday bonanza mega prize. Mr Thomas? Um, excuse me. Michael? I've just run all the way from town. Why, what's happened? It's Mrs Jessup's birthday. Today. And she can't go away because the car's bust. And she was going to go away with some friends. And we thought we'd buy her a tea towel, but then we went some saucepans and... Uh, where's Rex? Rex? Oh, I think he's gone ahead to our house. You see, we want to organise a surprise party. You'll come, won't you? Uh, no, no, I think I'll just finish serving this customer, thank you. Oh, sorry. I'll just pop oh. and get some clothes. What? Rex, I think he'll need to change. Uh, uh what, what time does this party start, anyway? Well, whenever you like. I was sort of hoping you'd organise it all. <laughs> Ken, come in. Um, no, no, I won't thank you. I, I just wanted a, a quick chat about the um, the rackets. Remember you ordered for the tennis club? Yeah. Um, just a quick. Uh, no, no, I'm dashing, honestly. Um, I'll, I'll just get this down. Now, you reckon 15 medium price rackets for children? Thank you. I think I'd better like them. Third 
rhododendron bush on the right. Your clothes and the last of the presents. Uh, yeah, so, so if I can just recap, it was um, 14, uh, no, 15 um, child size and um, 20, 20, was it, for the, uh, for the ladies? Mm. Yeah, yeah, um, you know, perhaps you're right. Um, th this is going to take a bit longer. Maybe, maybe I should um, come in for a bit. Good. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Vicky. Thank you, Ken. Oh, thank you. Um, well, I'm quite overcome. Tennis racket, a tea towel, saucepans. Dress of my choice from Claire Huntley's boutique. Isn't it lucky I didn't go away? You can if you want to, miss. What? You can still go away with your friends this evening. No, we're not going to mention my car again. Not today. I'm having far too good a time. Well, Mike and I better be off. Thanks for the lovely party, miss. Uh, uh, no, you, you can't go now. Well, we haven't even cut the cake. With the compliments of Trent FM and Mapley Motors, the people who bring you clever cars at silly prices. What's this? It's for you, miss. From Bob. <laughs>